What's going on, guys? I'm going to play um, this video for you, but as you can see, there's headlines. You can see what the story about. A group of alleged white supremacists were arrested after being accused of harassing black DJ in Washington. Como News starts right now. Hi, everybody. Glad you were with us this afternoon. I'm Michelle Esteban, and we begin with video you will see only on Como. Police right now investigating a fight that broke out at a Linwood bar, according to the sheriff's office, a group of alleged white supremacists walked into the rec room bar and attacked an African-American DJ. Comos Patrick Quinn joins us now live from Linwood. And Patrick, the question tonight, are investigators treating this as a hate crime? Michelle, the Snohomish County Sheriff's Office told me they're not going as far as calling it a hate crime, but eight men were arrested for malicious harassment. I looked at the state law. Malicious harassment sounds very similar to a hate crime. It's a felony offense for threatening someone based on their race, color, creed, or religion. And as you mentioned, Como was here last night as police were investigating and interrogating this group of alleged white supremacists. It all started last night just before 1 a.m., 15 to 20. Alleged white supremacists were harassing the 27-year-old black DJ at the bar. According to witnesses, the group was yelling racial slurs at him, and a fight broke out. When deputies got here, the group of alleged white supremacists were fleeing the scene. Deputies pulled over one car that had six people inside. They were all arrested. Linwood PD also pulled over another car with two inside. They and the driver was arrested for DUI. Now, I'm told the DJ was taken to the hospital with non-serious injuries. He is expected to make it. Some of his equipment, though, was damaged. I have reached out to the bar owner. There was surveillance footage from inside. We're trying to get a look at that. I'm also told that investigators will pick up their work on Monday. All as we try to figure out exactly what happened here in the wee hours just after 1 a.m. We're live in Linwood. Patrick Quinn, Como News. All right, you just heard that and how they reported it. They basically just sugarcoated. I'm going to read the whole article. According to witnesses, a group of about 15 to 20 alleged white supremacists used racial slurs and assaulted a black DJ. The Snohomish County Sheriff um, Office reports some of the DJ's equipment was damaged during the fight. Initial reports stated the sh that shots had been fired, but from... But the Snohomish County Sheriff's Office has yet to confirm this. 27-year-old DJ was taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injury. All suspects are ages 20 to 40. You see how young that is? 20 to 40. So that means there's a parent or something teaching them all this. When deputies arrived, multiple cars with alleged white supremacists were fleeing the scene. A county sergeant pulled over one car with six people and arrested them from police. Police from Linwood, sorry. Washington also pulled over a vehicle with two people who were also taken into custody. Eight people were arrested for malicious harassment, assault, malicious mischief. mischief. One other person was arrested for driving under the influence. Okay. Well, you know, this is something. And Como is a, basically a sub of ABC, if you could see the logo on the upper left right there. It's a subsidiary. Basically, this is what exactly what I mean when I say at the end of my videos, be careful of those in our community and outside of our community. A lot of black people tend to live in these little small towns, these little areas and stuff that's predominantly white. Listen, I barely trust white people like that, to, especially to live around them like that. Are you crazy? I don't know what they're someone to be thinking. There's like the most black populations in Mississippi. This is a state with the Confederate flag on the upper left side of it. Their state flag is a has a Confederate flag with them on the upper left side of it. But I'm glad that this brother, he didn't get killed or anything like that or any major bodily injuries. But you guys let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe, share the video. And as always, you know, stay safe, protect yourself, protect each other. Um, exercise your Second Amendment rights. Stay out of unknown areas and uh, be careful of those within our community and outside of our community, as this was a perfect example of that. You guys let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe, share the video.